Hello friends, let's look at five very important questions for your class six maths, okay, from IMO point of view. So as we have seen earlier, the IMO questions are a little bit uh, conceptual, okay, they, they are not really tricky once you get a hang of it. So here is a, a question which asks us to approximate. Now approximation is a very important trick, so you should definitely know about it. Here, there are several ways of solving an approximation problem, okay, we can really go about it in several different ways. What I have chosen is I would convert each of these decimals into fractions, okay, so these are decimal fractions, I would convert them into the fractions. So this becomes 0.33, this becomes 1 by 3, 0.25 is really 1 by 4, 0.499, right, now here we will use some approximation, it is very close to 0.5, so I would write it as half, 0.125, this becomes 1 by 8, okay, so you should just know it, right, think about it this way, 0 0.25 is 1 fourth, half of 0 0.25 is 0 0.125 and therefore it is 1 by 8 and then of course 24 remains 24, so we can write this entire thing, entire fraction as 1 by 3 into 1 by 4 into half into 1 by 8 into 24 and of course this 8, 3 are 24, so this, uh, this of 3, 8 and 24 they cancel and we are left with 1 by 8, 1 by 8 like as we saw earlier is 0.125. Okay, so we are very simple if you indeed go about it in a very systematic fashion. If you go about it in a systematic fashion, it's simple. Now here, what we are saying, we are, what are we, we given? We have been given a, a rectangle ABCD. So that is pretty trivial. Okay, there is a rectangle ABCD. We have seen several rectangles. The question asks us, if the length is increased by 3x, if I increase the length by 3x, and the breadth is decreased, I mean, decrease the breadth by x, then find the new perimeter, right? So the first thing which we should really understand here, that which, which we should strike to us here, is what indeed is length of a rectangle and what is its breadth, right? I mean, should I should I call this length, right? Of course, that would be wrong, okay? So whenever a question is given like that, what you should understand is length is the longest side, okay? So the longer side of the rectangle is said to be the length. The other one becomes the width or the breadth. Both are one and the same thing, so we'll just write this as B. Okay, so that is very important to understand. So that is the first thing; it becomes clear right here. Now, what are we? What are? What else are we said? The length is increased by three x, so we would add three x to it, so this becomes plus three x, and breadth is decreased by x, so this becomes minus x. So what are we left with? We are left with seven x plus two here. Okay, on on the length side, we are left. We we have seven x plus two. Three x plus four x becomes seven x plus two, and on this side, we have three x minus x, which becomes 2x plus 1 on the breadth side, okay, and this becomes 7x plus 2. So now that much is, is clear. Now we are being asked the perimeter. So what is perimeter? Perimeter of a rectangle or P is equal to 2 into L plus B, okay, which is equal to 2 times length. Length is 7x plus 2. This is the new length, okay, this one right here, and 2x plus 1. This is the new breadth. So 7x plus 2x is 9x plus 2 and 1 is 3. So this becomes 9 to the 18x plus 6. And of course, we have our right answer. So the right answer here is A. Now this is a very uh, good question. I mean, those people who, who have been exposed to farm, who live in farm, uh, are all around farms, would appreciate this. There are total 312 ducks. And then hens and pigs in the farm. So this is the total number, okay? It, it doesn't mean that there are 312 ducks, okay? It is the total of ducks plus hens plus pigs. So we would write it as ducks plus hens plus pigs and the total comes out to be 312. This is what we have been given. Approach is in a very systematic word problems, read it, very systematically read it. All 32 pigs were shifted from the farm to another place. Now there we have been told indirectly the number of pigs, okay, indirectly. This is the key, this is the trick here. It is given indirectly. So there were 32 pigs which have been shifted to another place. Now ratio of ducks and hens is given. Okay, so let's first try to find out if the pigs are 32, then ducks plus hens is 312 minus 32. And of course, this comes out to be, if you, if you calculate it, this comes out to be 280. Very simple. So far, it is, it is easy. Ratio of ducks and hens is 3 is to 2. So we are also being given ducks is to hens is equal to 3 is to 2. So if I assume that the ducks is 3x, then hence becomes 2x because then the ratio of 3 is to 2. x and x would cancel. So if the dux is 3x, hence becomes 2x. Very simple. Of course, if I total these two, this becomes d plus h is equal to 3 plus 2, which is 5x. And this we know to be 280. So from here, we can find our value of x. 
So x, if you find out, it becomes 280 by 5 or 56. So from here, we can find the value of x. Now, since we know the value of x, we can substitute it here and also here. And then we can arrive at the value of d and h. If you calculate it, this was this would come out to be 168 and h would come out to be 112. Right? Very simple. It's systematic. That is the key. So this becomes the correct answer. B becomes the correct answer. Now let's move on to the next very important question, which is, of course, the geometric question. So geometric questions are very frequently asked in your uh, IMO, the Olympiad examinations. And they're very important from that perspective. So here, we have been given a figure and we are being asked to find the perimeter of the shaded region. And the shaded region is, of course, the grid out region. In case it's not clear, I'll shade it out again. So this is the region of which we have to find the perimeter. So now th that is the question. This is a square. Okay, this is a square ABCD. So that is 4 centimeter and this is also 4 centimeter. So for this particular semicircle, the radius is half of this 4, which is 2 centimeter. So that is pretty, uh, uh, pretty clear. Now, what we need to do is we need to find the perimeter of this region. So if you look at it closely, you will find that the perimeter consists of two semicircles. Right? So these are the semicircles, one here and the other one here. So these two semicircles plus this line and this line, so they together form the perimeter. So if I look at the perimeter P, it is equal to the circumference of this circle, right? Because it is two half circles means one full circle. So circumference of this circle, which is 2 into pi into R, R is 2 centimeter plus the these two lengths. One is this, other is this. So this is 4 plus 4, which is 8. If you look at it, this becomes 4 into pi. Pi is approximately 3. It is 3.14, but let's just take it to be 3 for one second. And then 8. So this becomes 12 plus 8 or approximately, right? So this is approximately equal to 12 plus 8, approximately equal to 20. So right away, we can come up with the correct answer. It should be near 20 and little more than 20 perhaps because instead of 3.14, right, we took only 3. So we only took 3. So the answer would be C, right? So very quickly, using approximation, we were able to come up with the right answer. So now this is the next question. A man brought a number of clips at 3 for a rupee. Okay, so the cost of one clip is how much? 1 by 3 rupees, right? Because in a rupee, 3 are coming. So one clip is how much? 1 by 3. And same number of clips, right? whatever that number is, we don't know that number. Okay, that is not important, but same number of clips. Some of that, right? so there are total number of clips we have. Half of them have been brought at this rate, one third rupees, and the other half, 2 for a rupee. 2 for a rupee means half rupees. Per clip. Right? So these are the two rates. Half of the clips have been brought at one third uh, of a rupee. Half of the clips have been brought at rate of half rupees. Okay. Now, if you look at it, what is the average? Right. Because the number of clips is half half. Half have been brought at these rupees. Half have been brought at uh, half rupee. So if you, what is the cost? Average cost of a clip. It is half plus one by three divided by. Because half of the clips have been brought at this rate, half of the clips have been brought at this rate, therefore their average would be average of these two rates, which is half plus 1 by 3 divided by 2. That is the formula for average. If you calculate it, this comes out to be 3. So 3 would go here, 2 would go here, then we multiply these two. So this becomes 6, and then 3 would go here. So 3 plus 2, this becomes 5 by 6 divided by 2, which is equal to 5 by 12. So that is the cost per clip, average cost per clip. So this is the per rupees per clip. Okay. So for 12 clips, what would be the cost? It would of course be 5 rupees. Right? So 512 is per clip. So for 12 clips, you multiply it by 12 and the answer would be 5 rupees. So that is the cost price. That is my average cost price. Now I need to make a profit of 20% on it. So 20% of 5 rupees we will calculate. So this comes out to be 20 divided by 100 into 5. If we calculate it, this comes out to be 1 rupees. So that is that is the profit. 20% of 5 is 1 rupee. So that is my profit. So what would be the selling price? Selling price would be 5 plus 1, which is equal to 6 rupees. So that is the answer. Again, the trick here was to realize that the we need to calculate the average cost. So this first step was the real important, real thing here, the average. So this is what this question was testing. Hope this was this, these questions are pretty clear. If you have doubts, don't hesitate to leave them in comment. And practice, of course, right? Practice, the link is given at the description below. Thank you very much.